What's up guys, Anil here from Learning Light Education with a tutorial on how to write a C program to calculate the factorial of a number. So a factorial of a non-negative integer n, you know, which is denoted by this um, no symbol, is the product of all positive integers less than or equal to n. For example, you know, if we have to calculate the n factorial, you know, the factorial of this number n, then we need to multiply n with the n minus 1, with the n minus 2, and you know, similarly up to 1. Another example, let's say we need to calculate 3 factorial, then it's going to be equal to 3 into 2 into 1. And another thing is, you know, the factorial of the number 0 is equal to 1. So if you have the 0 as a number, then the factorial value is 1. Otherwise, you know, the factorial of a number is the product of all positive integers less than or equal to the number. So here in this tutorial, what we're going to do is, you know, we're going to ask the user to enter a number and then we're going to calculate the factorial of that number. So the first thing that we're going to do is, you know, we're going to create some variables in our program and we're going to create the integer variables. And the first variable that we need is to store the value entered by the user. So I'm going to call it as number. And then we're going to use a loop in our program to calculate the product of the numbers. So let's create the counter variable. And also we're going to need another variable to store the calculated factorial of the number. So I'm going to call it as fact and I'm going to initialize this fact with a value of 1. And the next thing that we're going to do is, you know, we're going to ask the user to enter the number to find out the factorial. So I'm going to use a printf function and I'm going to say enter the number to calculate factorial. And then uh, let's add a new line just to make it pretty. And then we're going to receive the value entered by the user. So I'm going to use the scanner function and we're going to be using the format specifier as percentage %d and we're going to store that value in our number variable. And uh, the next thing that we need to do is, you know, uh, we need to check whether the number entered by the user is a negative integer. You know, if it is so, then we can't calculate the factorial of a number. So to calculate the factorial of a number, you know, we need the non-negative integers. So I'm going to use the if statement and I'm going to check whether this number is containing a value which is less than zero. If it is so, it's going to mean that, you know, the entered number is a negative number. So I'm going to say that using the printf statement, just going to say, enter non-negative number else you know if this number is containing a value greater than or equal to zero then we can uh, calculate the factorial and uh, here what we're going to do is you know we're going to use a for loop to calculate the factorial so for example you know if the user is going to enter a value of uh, five and then what we need to do is to calculate the factorial of this 5. Now we need to perform 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So I'm going to use the for loop here and it's going to be 4. And we're going to initialize our counter variable with the value of the number variable. So if the user is going to enter 5, then this counter variable is going to contain 5. If the user is going to enter 10, then this counter variable is going to contain 10. And the next thing that we're going to do is, you know, we're going to check whether the counter value is greater than or equal to 1. Or, you know, in other words, we want to execute this for loop till this counter value is greater than or equal to 1. When it becomes less than or equal to 1, you know, we want to terminate. And then we're going to decrement the value of this counter variable because, you know, at some point we want our loop to terminate. So we need to decrement here. And here inside this for loop, what we're going to do is we're going to write fact, you know, the variable which is created for, you know, storing the factorial value equal to fact 
multiply that with the value of counter. So here what happens is if the user is going to enter 5 or you know if the user want to find the factorial of the number 5 then you know this counter variable here is going to contain the value of 5 first and uh, this condition satisfies you know 5 is greater than or equal to 1 and that's why here this statement will be executed and the uh, fact which is the variable that we have created is containing the value of 1 and uh, here you know fact equal to fact multiply counter so it's gonna be uh, fact equal to 1 star 5 so this fact is gonna contain 5 and then you know the loop will be decremented this counter is gonna contain 4 and again this uh, condition satisfies and again this statement will be executed this time fact equal to fact star counter so it's gonna be 5 you know the value stored in this fact which is 5 because of the previous iteration multiply the value of the counter you know which is 4 so the fact is gonna contain 20 now and then the counter value will be decremented and similarly this loop will execute until the counter value is gonna contain 1 so at the end of this loop you know uh, this fact variable is going to contain factorial value for the number entered so in this case it's going to contain 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 you know which is going to be uh, 120 and the last thing that we're going to do is you know we're going to print out the factorial value calculated so i'm going to use a printf statement outside the for loop and uh, i just going to say factorial of percentage d is percentage d and here we're gonna refer number and fact that's it now i'm gonna save this program and i'm gonna go to build and run and it says enter the number to calculate factorial i'm gonna enter 5 and i'm gonna hit enter it says factorial of 5 is 120 i'm gonna run this program again and enter the number so i'm just gonna enter 2 hit enter factorial of 2 is 2 and run it again and let's say uh, we're gonna enter minus 5 and if i hit enter it says enter non-negative number and run it again for the last time and we're gonna enter 0 and if i hit enter it says 1 so you may ask me like you know in our program we haven't checked you know whether the number is containing value of 0 or not then how come it can calculate you know the factorial of 0 is 1 so here what happens is um, you know we have initialized our fact variable with a value of 1 and if this number you know which is the value entered by the user is 0 at that time you know this this if statement fails because you know 0 is not less than 0 you know 0 is equal to 0 not less than 0 so this statement fails and that's why we execute the else part and here this counter variable will be initialized to 0 you know which is the value stored in this number variable so here 0 is not greater than or equal to 1 this condition fails and we are not going to execute this loop you know not even once we're going to execute this loop and uh, it's just going to print out this statement so it says factorial of 0 you know which is the value stored in this number variable is 1 because you know we have initialized this fact variable with a value of 1 so this is it guys this is how you guys can write a c program to calculate the factorial of a number and also you guys can uh, check out my website for the source code of this tutorial and uh, follow us on twitter like our facebook page and i'll see you in the next tutorial